The most basic description of FormAssembly is an easy to use, powerful web form platform. But it's so much more than that. Their fully fledged form building interface leaves nothing to be desired and trumps other form building tools I've used. Through a mix of user friendly form building abilities and flexible connectors, you can build web to anything forms for data capture into Salesforce. My review digs into the meaning of web to anything and how form assembly gives you the flexibility to achieve any data collection use case. I had the pleasure of reviewing FormAssembly, taking a look into its features, ideal use cases, setup efforts, and the potential impact that adding this product to your Salesforce stack could bring. Right, let's get started with the features. My starting point in every review is the product's interface. The FormAssembly managed package can be opened from the app launcher where you come to a clean menu. And here's the form builder. I played around with it and you can pretty much do anything with it, all through drag and drop, including tricky things like adjusting the column width, label positioning, moving questions up, down, side to side. A lack of CSS knowledge won't stop you here. There are out the box themes to get your form life faster or create your own themes with point and click options. FormAssembly has a really robust integration with Salesforce and here are a couple of highlights from the review. Aside from keeping the data types of fields aligned to your Salesforce org, FormAssembly offers something called dynamic pick lists. It causes a bit of trouble when changes are made to pick list values in Salesforce, for example, by an admin, but the web form fields are not updated. But you don't have to worry because by using dynamic pick lists, any changes made to pick list values in your org are always being pulled into the form field to your prospects and customers see on the form. On to the connectors now. The connector interface presents a clear way to see which user actions trigger which data actions. For example, when the form is opened, when that's submitted, and any actions you want to happen after the form is submitted. This is all set at the form level, so you can get very specific. You have several connectors to choose from with plug and play options, including Google Sheets, accounting software like FreshBooks, and payment gateways like Stripe or Cybersource. But of course, Salesforce is the most interesting one of them all. So why do I say that? I've picked out the Salesforce Prefill connector to tell you about now, which will prefill a form using data stored in a Salesforce record. Sure, simple but check out the full review to see how advanced form assembly can get. I'll give you a teaser though. A lookup step that's part of the connector defines how you would like the prefill connector to behave with the target object you're creating or editing using the form and related objects to that target object if you like. I had to play around with this and was able to create, find, prefill and update records for our custom content object in our own Salesforce org, Ben org, that we rely on heavily to track our blog content pipeline. Trust me, just read the examples in the review to save yourself. It is worth mentioning that once your form is complete and you're happy with it, you have multiple options for publishing that. You may have picked up on this by now. FormAssembly's form builder is so feature rich, your forms can adapt to any use case you may want to throw at them. I picked up a few varied examples that I think will be popular, including surveys, secure forms where a user needs to validate their identity, forms that you embed in a Salesforce community, and multiple industry use cases. But the challenge is yours at the end of the day for how you want to use your forms. The impact that form assembly will have goes beyond the use cases. In the long run, an organization can benefit from a self-sufficient marketing team who can edit and maintain the look and feel of forms. They can benefit from data quality, validating and keeping values on the form aligned with Salesforce. Think back to those dynamic pick lists. Updated data and self-service, your prospects and customers can keep information up to date and refresh stale data on your behalf. Cleaner Salesforce orgs, where admins don't need to shoehorn field data into the correct related objects, because forms can look up to related objects themselves. And finally, security and compliance. Certain form assembly additions include HIPAA and GLBA compliance and advanced sensitive data controls. As form assembly can cater to a number of use cases in all corners of an organization, 
It's likely that you would invest in form assembly and then eliminate multiple other tools that serve the same purpose, almost like a tech stack consolidation. With this in mind, plus all its capabilities and potential impact, form assembly is a good value choice for those who want to get serious about data collection. That's all from me for now, but that was really only a flavour of what's in the full review, so check that out on the Selfless Burn blog.